Hi everybody, Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios here. And today, unfortunately, I'm going to be singing. <laughs> uh, many of you... Many of you may not know that I am a singer. I used to uh, go out and do three-hour shows regularly before the pandemic happened. And you won't have seen any original music on the channel unless you look very hard. Uh, so today I'm checking out something called Lyric Studio that hopefully will help me to find a way to uh, be more creative and write lyrics to original material much more easily. Just so you know, this video is not uh, explicitly sponsored by Lyric Studio. They've not paid me to do this video. Uh, they reached out during NAM to say hello. And I thought it was really interesting because I wanted to write some of my own original material. Um, we will have an affiliate link in the description if you find this interesting and want to use it. So by all means, do that and that will help us out a bit. But we're, like I say, not being specifically like paid to do this. This isn't some sort of like commercial. So uh, whatever you see in this video, good or bad, is what I make of it. So let's check it out. Okay, so we begin our journey with uh, the setup in front of me. And I have two screens. You can see the streaming setup behind me, but I've got uh, I've got Reaper on one screen. And above that, I have Lyric Studio. Now, let's switch so that you can see that. And I've done a kind of bit of clever jiggery pokery here so you can see it. And I'm using the Lewitt 440 Pure microphone which sounds fantastic through my Drama 1960 preamp, which I just got and I'm very happy with. And then that's going through in 1176 by Waves and then through Brainworks SSL 9000J. And it sounds like this. I'm also going through the shotgun mic over there, but probably won't end up using that uh, because this. Anyway, um, let's look at Lyric Studio. I have this rather nice, happy song. This is going to be an interesting one to make vocals for. I'm just quickly going to add some effects to this vocal. So I've got a bit of plate, a uh, tiny bit of delay, way too much. There we go. Hey. Yep. Ah, there must be no feedback on that. Yep. That needs a little feedback. There we go. Sounds a little like I'm in a cave. That's way too much plate. Then that'll do. Hey. Sounds nice, um, but I have nothing to sing. Let's play the track so you can hear what's going on from when it comes in. So there's a melody that kind of goes... Da -da. So there's that melody, and then when it goes to what I call the mid eight turn, there's a whole different thing. And so on and so forth. Originally that was a guitar line, but let's look at these and I'm going to just quickly turn off the effects while I talk so I don't sound really weird. All I had to do then was shift and click on the effects to turn them off, turn them on. There we go, that helps. Uh, yeah, you can see that on screen. Good. Right. So, uh, should we go by genre or topics? Let's go with topics. Uh, What's the song about? So it's kind of, uh, let's go thankful and thankful dream. 
Not sure I like the word thankful, but hopefully it's just a topic and doesn't come up as a word because it's... I'm not looking for... I'm not looking for kind of worship style music. This is definitely secular. Um... Now, I don't know if I'm looking for word one here, but we can see some suggestions. We know what it means to be alone. That's uh, a little too cheesy. In fact, a lot of this is quite cheesy. And I'm going to see if I can avoid you and I. Because to me, songs like that, they kind of, they're just a bit, they make me cringe when it's, I'll do this, I'll do that for you, baby, yeah. I'm not necessarily saying that I have to be super cryptic. Um, but like, I'm liking the season of the year. To rhyme with year. If I hit enter there, will it find me stuff that rhymes with year? Um, cause you aren't doing. There's, um, new suggestions. I have to sit, I have to hit new suggestions, right. To rhyme with year. The days of rest are near. Hmm. <laughs> Was one of the most living creatures of the year. Let's rhyme year with year. Let's not. The season of the year. The season of the eternal year. It's the eternal year. Um, I think the situation we're in right now, this has been filmed in early 2021 when we're still in lockdown. That's actually quite, uh, quite obvious what that means. Uh, the season of the eternal year. Um... Let's do more to rhyme with year. Let's look under settings. Um, let's put at least eight syllables in. And let's add some wackiness. Based on topics and last line. Yep, new suggestions. Because I don't mind wacky. There's a setting for wacky, so. Um, the grandest procession of the air. That's actually not bad. I mean, it's a little bit, uh, what, what would you call it? Pretentious, I guess. Um, I suppose that's one word for it. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> I mean, for the body of the cattle. That doesn't really rhyme with year, but. The days that have, um, the season of the eternal year, the days that have still found us here in there. Hmm. I mean, what rhymes with year? Beer. Um. Uh, the grandest procession of the year. Uh, I actually quite like that, but I'm gonna do that as an A B A B rhymes uh, thing. So I'm gonna take out the rhyming, and I'm gonna hit new suggestions. Uh, is thankful dream? This could go somewhere. God doesn't care about your hair. I mean, I mean, never a truer word spoken, I guess. And the oldest sound got me floating around. Floating around to the sea over the years that you've. <laughs> I mean, that's the oldest sound got me floating around. I mean, this is odd, but the oldest sound floating around. I like that. And the oldest sound floating around. This season. Let's just let's just go for the this. <laughs>
A season of eternal year, the oldest sound floating around, the grand procession of air. Not sure about grandest procession, but there's something something of air. The lifting swing of the air. See, this this is kind of turning itself into, you know, the dream of freedom. The season of the eternal year is, uh, you know, cryptic words for Groundhog Day and the oldest sound floating around. Because <laughs> I like how sound and around uh, work as uh, a couplet right there. Um, the grandest procession of the year, but it's ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 ba. I'm stretching it at seven, and that's ten. At least it tells me how many syllables it is. That's really nice on the left syllable counter. The grandest should be greatest. Uh, then greatest. Uh. I just need another word there. The greatest X of the year. The greatest X of the year. The, the greatest X of the year. Looks like I'm going to be going all Sam Smith on this one because it doesn't seem to cut lower down. In the season of... Although I'm, I'm not mumbling enough to be Sam Smith. In the season of... <laughs> Sam Smith's all right, actually. Um... Anywho, uh, the greatest X of the air. Tallest tail of the air. Tallest tail of the air. This is going to need some DSing. This is probably quite sharp sounding. So let's just do that now. I'm just going to add in waves. DS, sir. DS, sir. DS, sir. DS, sir. DS, sir. DS, sir. The tallest tail of the air. The tallest tail of it, the tallest tail of the year. Yeah, yeah, the tallest tail of the year. All right, let's try that. <laughs> It's a little bit kind of hippy and a little bit it reminds me of of early rush and especially being that high up maybe i need to change the melody but that's separate from the lyrics maybe i could come up with the lyrics um and then later uh think about revoicing the melody because I know that there's uh, the mid-eight, because I came up with the melodies roughly by uh, noodling guitar over the top, because I tend to noodle and solo quite vocally. In fact, I'll turn on the solo here so you can just hear it on this section. <laughs> So there's definitely a second part to that verse there. Um but Let's get and that because that's two lines running into each other there. Was all I heard the ocean on the wind. I mean again, this is a bit kind of yes, tales of topographic oceans, but um it depends what I'm looking for as as a base for a start to to change later. 
actually kind of nice. And was all I heard the ocean on the wind. And all I heard the ocean on the wind. And now I hear the ocean on the wind. So that's another thing that I tend to do when I write things like this is I kind of don't always do it in a straight line. And I think that's okay. You don't necessarily have to do everything. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So. So. That's cool. I like that. Um, 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 waiting for something, something, Gavin did it. Waiting forever. Let's see if I can. Next suggestion based on waiting forever. <laughs> waiting forever and the days go on and on and on. And now I hear the ocean on the wind. I think I like that. Waiting forever, days go on and on and on. It That's a little bit more... Uh, Early 90s dream theatre, I like. Waiting forever, days go on and on and on. And now I hear the ocean on the wind. I mean, this song isn't a full song anyway in terms of its, uh, in terms of its structure. This is only a minute and 30 any, uh, anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm liking that as a mid-eight. Um, and what's interesting to me is I would, if I was trying to write this with nothing, uh, to start from, I would probably have absolutely hammered the, um, trying to get as many syllables in as possible, but this has given me things that fit nicely and actually give me time to breathe. Um, so, uh -huh. And then we're, we're uh, back to, da, 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 da. but I might just uh, take it down instead and go, la, da, 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 na, da, da. Uh, so clear this. And this is almost telling a story. And yeah, I'll probably refine it when I'm done as well, but. I guess that's that's almost only half of it. Why can't it be the first time when we're out of sight? The clock is ticking on the wall. That's that's I said dream theater and it overheard me. The clock on the wall. I can't sing any more of that because I'll get uh, done for copyright flags. Um, the storm is nearly over, but I am not sure. It's a bit of a clunky way of uh, writing it, but. Storms are over. Storms are over. They will return. And with them, uh, storms are over, they will return. And with them, the something, something. And the challenge is new. Challenges in you. I go on and on and on, and now I hear the ocean on the wind. Storms are over, they will return, and with them, the challenges in you. Yeah. 
Right, so I've got room for a second one there and a second one here. Let's go back to the first one and uh, actually no, let's track a version of this so it's down so I can just refer to it back before my head focuses on the next thing. In tune, please. Waiting forever, days go on and on and on. And now I hear the ocean on the wind. Storms are over, they will return. And with them, the challenge is anew. Nice. Ooh. Don't want to move that too much. And yes, I know I've just released a video on game staging, or at least I will do soon. And these are far too loud. Um, but uh, do as I say, not as I do. I'm driving this through a drama preamp on purpose. Anywho, um, let's just listen to that back and make sure it's not terrible. Yeah, that, that's going to work because that can have uh, an octave on top. Yeah, that's... Uh, and within the challenges are new. Yeah. Yeah, um, that could work quite well. Um, in the meantime, I've got like three sections here. I'd forgotten how long this is. Yeah, I'm quickly just going to add uh, a lower harmony to this because uh, I think that will make it sit nicer. Right, so there's a slight uh, pause before the third line. I mean, none of these takes are perfect. These are a little pitchy and a little uh, um, not perfect, but this is a writing session. I'm not aiming for vocal perfection i could spend hours getting bogged down and making sure each line was recorded absolutely perfectly but what i should probably be looking for right now in a writing session is just getting the writing right and just treat this as a sketch pad and at the end of it if i'm happy with it go back and re-record it in the vocal booth stood up warmed up you know uh looking for proper pitch right now i, I don't really care about any of that so yeah, if anyone says in the comments, oh, you can't even sing, refer back to this this point that it's like, that's not the point. I know some really good songwriters who don't have incredible singing voices, but they have sold either hundreds of thousands or millions of records by making the songs, making a passable recording and then sending that to the actual talent artist who will then do a stellar job of performing said song and then it goes on to be a hit and makes lots of money so yeah you don't have to be the best singer in the world to sing something anyway um i'm getting off track tallest tale of the year um 
so I've got Oceans on the Wind and I've got Tallest Tales of the Air. Um, new suggestions based on Tallest Tale of the Air. No, no, no. Uh, ne new, next suggestion is based on Tallest Tale of the Air. <laughs> the Great Trumpet Sound of the Time. The Great Trumpet Sound of the Time. Again, we're getting into kind of Marillion territory here. A tale less bold than light that dare. A tale more bold. A tale more bold than light to the dark. It's always a good theme. Um, let's see if I can add a topic to this. Let's just uh, add a topic. Thankful. <laughs> Is there, is fantasy something more bold than light to the dark? This has got a little bit Lord of the Ringsy, but I'm going to chase it down there. I know that Lyric Studio does country and rap and um, worship lyrics as well, which, like I said, is not what I'm going for here. A tale more bold than light to the dark. Uh, more suggestions. More suggestions. So much more than the grave of the old. That's a bit, <laughs> yeah. Out came the fire as we lay here away before the stars. Uh, I'm going to put that in and I'm going to change it a lot. Out, out of the fire, not out came the fire. <laughs> out of... Out, uh, uh, out of the fire as we lay here the fire as we stay here never quite liked lay here it's a bit mushy love song to be before the stars to to ponder before the stars is a bit soporific um to <laughs> to YOLO Blaze 420 before the stars. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> I don't know. Um to something before the stars. Let's just play it. To something before the stars, told of the fire, and a tale more bold than light to the dark. Told of the fire as we told at the fire as we stay here to grow before the stars. It's become an epic tale of civilizations evolving. <laughs> And it's, yeah, I think I am going to do first part of the first verse, then a little guitar interlude. The sail of the air. bit flat on that top note but nothing a little bit of uh, melodyne can't fix which i'll i'll do in future as it stands it's getting late here and like i said i'm sketch padding ideas 
Uh, so if I can remember that melody, let's see if I can double track that. That ooh ah section that I just threw in there is uh, something that I can uh, split that off. Oohs and ahs are a favourite of mine, but they're not really lyrics. Um, Go there. Uh, they can be hard panned and dip down a bit. Go on and on and on. And now I hear the ocean on the wind. Now I hear the How about that? I got the pitch right both times. Storms are over. They will return. So I just need uh, uh, a second part of this. So I'm going to take Storms Are Over, They Will Return. And uh, so the first half doesn't have to rhyme. That can be because uh, we've got like A, B, A, B. That'll be X, A. And then a lot B line. Uh, None of these rhyme with a new headless body of Agno. He that hath hath faith in strength, they can do. <clears throat> they tell me that that promise is too true. Um. Nah. Uh, again. My up the wackiness. At the moment of the ancient moon. Uh, something howling at the moon, crying at the moon. Challenges new, da 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 da. Save our strength for crying at the moon. Uh, hey. Scoop up, ba ba di ba 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 ba. Regardless of the point whether they will mention that that has been before my view. Ah, brilliant. I did turn up the wackiness. Thou knowest all who only... So I don't need it to... With them the challenges are new. I have another few you have too. I like the word another. Be the other... Be the other cycle, cycle the cycle again. Be the other cycle again. Save our strength for crying at the moon. That's this. Um, now crying at the moon has suddenly become tribal. Um, uh, the few. Giving from the many to the few. This is definitely...
turned into some sort of weird anime kind of intro at this point. <clears throat> um, just need a crazy new suggestion. Um, oh, it's got rhymes and it's got a thesaurus as well. Um, awesome. Um, didn't use them, but they're there as well. Many to the few. Um, settings, wackiness, maximum. Uh, just based on the last line. Um, not so many syllables. Full wacky. Let's what we let's see what we get on full wacky. And then I would sleep and turn my head away. Who gave good credit like a good born Don Juan troop? Oh wow. Praying I found someone like you. Oh yeah, typical cheesy love song. Hold my throat, but I'll stay true enough not to. Well, if this is going full anime, um, then let's not hold my throat. Hold my heart, but I'll stay true to you. Hold my something, but I'll stay true to you. Hold my something. Hold my something. <laughs> hold my large something. Na, 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 scappy, pato. <laughs> I, I, I know what all of you men are thinking is the two syllable thing. Hold my something. Um, Thesaurus. Heart. Hold my marrow, but I'll stay true to you. Hold my, uh, pump. Right, okay. Essence, that might be it. M S essence. Be my essence and I'll stay true to you. Be my essence and I'll stay true to you. It's That's very anime, I like it. Um, Did I record enough vocals for this? Right, no I didn't. So let's just listen to the melody of this. Accidentally recorded on both channels there. Um, I'm starting to hear this as something that a nice uh, Japanese high-pitched female vocal would would kind of work with. I'm not sure if it's the kind of thing that would suit my voice, but the fact that in this short session here, I've essentially written a song in terms of lyrics, this is something I've done maybe two or three times in my life. And could it be refined? Of course it could be refined. But I could track this, play it, listen back, have the words on the page, change the words, maybe collaborate with people. And this is a massive head start. And the fact that this took me what? I've, I've edited this down, but it's taken 40 minutes. Um, and I've pretty much, uh, yeah, I've pretty much made a song right there in 40 minutes. Whether it's good or bad, I've done that in 40 minutes. And most of the most successful uh, singers that I know and songwriters that I know, you ask them, how did you come up with this hit song? And they say, I wrote 100 songs. 90 of them were terrible. Five of them were okay. Four of them were great. And one of them was this one that worked. That's kind of how it happens. So I am perfectly happy with the results from this because this this is something that I didn't have before. If I wasn't good enough to track it again, I could always melodyne it, fix it, um, do all that kind of stuff with it. Um, as it stands, 
I would probably tune it before I sent it to somebody for review or for them to sing it back and sing it better. Um, or if I was to do it again and decided, yes, this is the final version, I would definitely track it again. But the fact that this came together so quickly, wow. Lyric Studio, check it out. Uh, there is a link in the description. Back to me in the studio. So there you go. The words that I came up with were a little bit kind of airy fairy and a little bit odd, but I could always go back and do a second pass of that and uh, change things around. But now I, I have a thing I can work with, uh, which is more than I had before. And so that was a very short session really for me, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of making melodies based around, uh, based around words that came up. Um, so that's the kind of thing where that could, even if you use something like Lyric Studio for just kind of coming up with the basic idea and then you end up changing everything, but you get to the end point quicker, that's what it's all about. I've known plenty of singers in bands who've had major trouble with what you might call writer's block, uh, where they just can't get past a certain point. And I've seen that lead to arguments, uh, even members of bands leaving bands. So any tool you can find that will get you past that kind of problem, it's got to be a good thing. So yeah, this is a pretty cool idea and I like it. And hopefully they're going to be expanding on it as we go, uh, writing specific like metal genre stuff, rock genre stuff. I went with the pop genre stuff there uh, because... The wording of pop and rock, it can be relatively interchangeable where like, obviously you wouldn't write rap style lyrics over a rock song or like, you, you know, there, there are certain kind of writing styles that don't mesh, but they, they kind of do. So hopefully they're going to expand that over time. And if they do, I'll be right there checking it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. You know the, the thing by now. Tell your friends. Um write in the comments whether you thought this was good or whether you thought it was terrible and uh, i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and i'll see you later goodbye hey everyone that might be the end of the video but if you fancy carrying on this conversation we have a discord server link is in the description we're also on patreon which is something you can really help us with we also are on facebook instagram and twitter at hop pole studios see you there